just being a bit slow. Now it's starting, I think. Just give it a few seconds. Cool. There we are. So good evening. I would like to first say thank you to Merib, who is taking his time out of his summer and his studies to join us for this incredible interview. So thank you, Merib. Yeah, thank you for being here. Oh, it's great. So Merib, the first question I'd like to ask you is, you know, why did you start, you know, tuition? Where were you at in terms of your English studies? You know, yeah, where were you at? Well, I began um, in year seven as a rookie. I was like at the bottom of everything, didn't know what I was doing. I only came to this country a couple of years back in year four and I had no idea. English was my worst subject. I was like, okay, how do I even do this? This doesn't make sense. My sentences were even right. I, yeah, but then afterwards I was like, okay, my dad was like, okay, we need to get you some English tuition and let's see how you do. So yeah, I've been doing it for a couple of years and then the past two years, I went to Kelly for help. So yeah. Perfect, got it. So yeah, obviously, as you said, you know, first of all, you've done phenomenally well. As you said, English is a second language for you. As you said, you came to this country when you were in year four. So obviously, you know, you had to learn a whole new system, right? So it's kind yeah. of quite challenging. So I think you should be very proud of yourself for what you've actually achieved. I mean, but as you mentioned, you felt that you were struggling, that your sentences were lacking coherency. How did that make you feel when obviously when you were young and then it persisted to when you were in secondary school? So how did that make you feel? It made me feel sad, like I couldn't do anything. So like, I was like, okay, look at all my friends again. So they're so successful, look at them, they're doing so well. And I'm just here like feeling down, like, okay, I can't do anything. I'm like, I can't even do English and it's supposed to be really easy, it's supposed to be a regular subject and people acing it. I'm just dying out in it. It's just terrible for me. And then, yeah, I just clicked after that, so yeah. Got it, yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely spot on. I'm sure lots of people can relate to that, you know, um, not feeling as good as you would like to be because you have big aspirations, you know, you're very studious. And when you're putting in the work and not seeing the grades, it, it is disheartening. And I'm sure many people can relate to that. And I know we say we shouldn't, but you can't help but compare yourself to others. It's, it's yeah. normal and natural. And yeah, it, it doesn't feel good, as you mentioned. So thank you for you know being honest and vulnerable there, Merib. I'm sure a lot of people can relate yeah. to that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so then how do you feel then tuition has helped you to overcome some of those you know, issues that you felt you had in English? How has that supported you? Well, it supported me so much. Like I couldn't do anything. And now all of a sudden I'm writing sentences. I'm making stories slowly on slowly starting to get better and then after a while I'm like okay now I'm at this level okay this is working out what can I do to the next level and I just keep rising slowly up the ladder okay I'm now set six okay I'm now set five so I'm set three and then uh, before I knew it, I was in set one you know, it just ha happened things. amazing that's brilliant that you accelerated in that and I mean you know you've worked hard so as you say to go from the bottom to now set one, I mean, I think you should really just take yeah, that in, you know, look at where you were to where you are now. Not many people can boast that. So you should feel really proud of yourself, you know, genuinely, that's awesome. And then, you know, what's the difference then? You know, you've experienced one-to-one -one tuition and you've experienced group tuition. And, mm -hmm. you know, I know that you've told me you prefer group tuition so what do, I mean would I be right to, to say that you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, of course <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> what is it about group tuition that you just feel helps and accelerated your learning what do you feel has benefited you more from that I mean like group tuition you're learning so much more like with one-to-one -one, okay you're learning what the teacher's telling you you're slowly taking in the information but once you are at a limit and you know that you have that limit group tuition just helps out because you can see okay he's thinking of that point oh she's thinking of that point how could I implement those points into my own point and make it even better than it was so it's just great because you're just magpying ideas not copying hopefully um ideas from your friends and um mates and you're just learning I guess and then you're just okay they're using that I never thought of that maybe uh, how can I use it in my own things and make it even better so I just love it and it's just great people are nice and it's just great I thought. 
brilliant. I love that, Mary. I love the enthusiasm. I mean, you just lit up when you were talking about it. And it, as you say, you know, with one to one, it, it's obviously great. It's useful. But as you say, you do naturally reach a plateau with it. But as you say, with group tuition, it injects life into it. And so you go beyond that. You're pushing beyond that. And yeah, 100 percent. You assimilate other people's ideas. You get to look at, you know, texts that you may have studied a thousand times and an exaggeration there but you know if you've gone over a set text a few times you start to kind of get stuck in your own vision of it mm -hmm. and listening yeah. to others it just helps you and as you know to get the higher grades looking at different interpretations is vital i mean you yourself i'm sorry i'm going to brag a little bit you went from a grade three to a grade eight in the space of a week because you did your exam i think mm -hmm. um one yeah. week got your results back and then a week later sat another exam right Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So, I mean, what did you do in that week? Because everyone is like, how do you do that? So, you know, what did you do in that week? And obviously you were having group tuition to support you with that. But what did you do within that week to move five grades? Well, in that week, all I did was, OK, I need to set myself up a plan. So I made myself a plan. I was like, OK, on this day, I'm going to learn this. On this day, I'm going to learn this. I was like, OK, I've got to write some here. OK, let's just say and a lot of drafting happened as well so i was like okay let's say if this comes up in the desk i'm gonna write this okay if this comes up i'm gonna write this so it was just practicing and then picking up what i learned from my mistakes in my previous exam also helped so i was like i went wrong here i should pick that up and improve that and then looking at other people's ideas as well like okay let me get their idea and see what i can do to mine and then slowly it went from okay i understand and then on the exam day i was just like okay i've got this i'm gonna nail this i went straight in and wrote my heart out and then afterwards i was the most happiest ever i had a grade eight in the first time as well wow i, I that's amazing i love your systematic approach as you said so you mapped it out drafted it and you actually use the ideas from as you said the group sessions and injected that in there and i love how you just went in there with absolute confidence i'm going to nail this because you had practiced so much amazing marab you deserve it i have to say i mean i've worked with you know hundreds of students and all of them deserve to do well but definitely you're one that you know you know truly deserves it so amazing Thank you. job it's thanks to your help i can't i can't break too much it's your help as well you've helped me too oh that's very kind of you to say so thank thank you for that as well um and then i guess then you know that finally you know what is your what are your goals what are your aspirations you know you're working to get the highest possible grade in english are you aiming for an eight to a nine now is that that yeah you'd love to be i guess that's my aim now since i previously was, uh, my target grade is great i was thinking okay um so yeah, well i'm probably not getting best grades and I was just like okay and then after you get that point and you're like okay I can do this you're like okay let's aim higher and see if I can do that and then hopefully in a, in a year's time if I do get the grade eight or nine I will be on cloud nine I guess so yeah <laughs> um it's just like once you like say reach that point and know you can do it that's when you're like you've realized I can do this and with hard work I will get there in the end so, yeah. No, definitely it gives you a new boost because you realize if I've done it once, I can do it again. And actually, I was going to say in the group setting, because everyone is aiming for that grade, do you find that's particularly motivational and inspirational for you? Or, you know, do you feel you compare yourself? Or Because it's a different mindset in that group, isn't it? I mean, what do you think or how do you feel? I mean, I feel like really happy because I feel like, okay, they're aiming for the same grade as that gives me okay more of a reason to see what they're doing and how I can interpret it into my own writing and what I can do to not well not to brag but hopefully get the ideas and hopefully surpass them or get close to them in a in a manner of sort of ways but uh, yeah get the same grade as them hopefully. absolutely I get it so as you say it's it's like almost like a, a game isn't it as you say it's it a is. friendly competition. <laughs> It's not done in a negative manner. And equally, do you feel, because you contribute a lot, you participate a lot, mm -hmm. do you feel that your confidence has grown because of it? Because you are very active, aren't you? Yeah, I, my confidence has definitely grown. I mean, like, I was very puny. I wasn't thinking. I was like, okay, I'm probably going to bail. Depression hit me at the bottom. I wasn't doing anything. Then just started. I was just like, okay, i got to routine myself. I'm going to get 
check I'm like okay I want to improve in this on oh, my worst subjects okay I see that English so maybe I should improve on it and then slowly but slowly the confidence built up and now it's up here like to the level where I'm like okay I got this I, I know how much I can do and I feel like I can do it so it's just right I've reached the threshold I guess I, I wow well, Merab, I mean, it's inspiring to listen to you, I have to say, and I'm sure everyone else will be inspired too. So that's incredible. And so what's your goals then after your GCSEs? Um, going on to A-levels, do you think? Um, I haven't thought about it yet because uh, just made me think about my GCSEs so far. <laughs> but there's a possibility I was just like, okay, how can I use English to my own advantage? I need it for other subjects as well. So I was like, okay, maybe for a job in the future, or university and A levels, I need to use English. It's basically the foundation of everything. If you don't get the foundation, you'll never be able to get to the highest point. So I was like securing this foundation. So I was just like, okay, got this, and now I've been able to do this. So hopefully in the future with English, I'll be able to do hopefully many jobs with writing, maybe even do tuition as well to help other people who struggling like me so help them in need as well oh wow i love that so you want to give back as you say that's incredible so actually by doing this has inspired you to think outside the box mm -hmm. and even think consider perhaps professions that you weren't once thinking about so that's incredible mm -hmm. to hear merib no absolutely and is there anything else that you would like to share merib is there anything else just like to say thank you for all the help uh mainly you because you've been pushing me and pushing me i thought i'd fall behind but you're just pushing me there like you can do this don't worry just keep going keep going and i've reached this level point uh now because of you so i'd just like to say thank you towards you as a well thank you mainly just to helping me all this way well merib i can honestly say it's been a pleasure to work with you and seeing you go you know, from strength to strength and how much effort you've put in. It's an absolute pleasure, I can honestly say. So thank you as well for, you know, trusting the process, trusting me and, you know, putting in the work. So thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for this evening. Um, any questions, pop them in the comments and I'm sure I will be able to speak to Merib and ask him and he will give you his uh, verdict. Um, but so yeah, thank you and good night. Yes.